Hi, this is Mrs. Zhu, and the second part of Chapter 4, Section 1 is about factors. And a factor is a number that divides evenly into a given number without a remainder, so no decimals or no extra fractions. So for the factors of 12, we're going to use a method um, called the T-chart or the factor tower. So when we look at the number 12, if you see these pictures of the rectangles or the squares, then those are factors that can be divided evenly into 12. Now when we make the factor tower or the t-chart, um, we're always going to start with the number 1. 1 will always be a factor for 12. And 1 would pair up with 12. So in the factor tower, you will see the first numbers as 1 and 12. Then we're going to test every number following 1. Um, it would be 2, then we would try 3, then we would try 4, and then 5, and so on all the way up to at least 10, and if not, sometimes up to 12, depending on if, when the numbers start to repeat. So we would try one first, just like we did, then we would try two, and if we put two on the chart, um, we divide 12 by two, and then we would get its pair, which is six. So, so far there are four numbers. Then we try the number three. Three would pair up with four, because three times four is 12. And then if we try four, then we would start to repeat and get the number three that goes with it. And really that's the pair all by itself. So when we list our factors, our factors for 12 would be one, two, three, four, six, and 12. Here's another example. If we do number 20 uh, and the number 40 and we list all the positive factors, then why don't you um, actually work these out uh, on a separate sheet of paper, on a whiteboard, or any uh, place that you'd like to write that down. So you can pause the video at this point and try it yourself or continue to watch if you're unsure what to do. So for number 20, we would start with the number 1. 1 would divide by 20 20 times, so we would get 1 and 20. Then we check if 2 divides by 20, and it does, and the pair would be 10. Then we would try 3, and 3 would not work, so then we would skip to 4. 4 divides by 25 times. Then after 4, we would get 5, but because 5 was already on the chart right over here, then we don't need to uh, keep going, and we can stop there. That's how we know we will stop. And so these are the numbers that are our factors. So right there are my list of numbers right in order as the factors. For number the number 40, we would start with 1, and 40 divided by 1 is 40. And then 20, 2, 2 divided by 40 would give me good 20. 3, does 3 divide by 40? Mm, according to the divisibility test, no it does not, so we would skip to 4. 4 does, and divided by 40 makes 10. 5, does 5 divide by 40? Yes it does, and that would be good 8. And then we would check 6, 6 does not divide by 40. How about seven? No, very good. And then number, the number eight, well, once we get to eight, again, now we're repeating. So we see eight already on the tower, factor tower, so we don't need to keep going. So there we go. Those are our answers for the factors of 40. Here we have um, two extra prob practice problems. Go ahead and pause the video at this time to work these out. And I will now give you the answers. Number one. This is what my tower looks like, and here's our answers. And you may choose not to use this method. Right now, this video is only talking about the tower method. And for number two, we have these numbers as a, in our tower. You can see it's going to go for quite a long time. And these are our factors for the number 24. Great. Here are some more practice problems, and you may also see this PowerPoint viewed and, uh, without the presentation already posted on Edmodo. And for number 48, the answer is going to be, and there's our answer. And for 60, here are our answers. All right, and those are our factors. Quite a bit of numbers there. And thank you for watching.